portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Welcome back. The news of the murder of the multi-millionaire podiatrist in Western New Providence on Tuesday went viral quickly. And as police continue their investigation, they are narrowing the list of persons of interest. Vaughn Aubrey tonight has more on this developing story and the international attention it has attracted. One day after the murder of Dr. Philip Vasili, police have in custody his wife Donna for questioning. The wife, who is also the mother of the couple's two adult children, Lauren and Aaron, is the project manager of the family's multi-million dollar enterprise, Vasili International, which reportedly mushroomed as a result of Dr. Vasili's podiatry business. The Australians, who now call the Bahamas home, own two homes in the upscale gated community, as well as an office at Old Fort Bay. The multi-millionaire podiatrist was found stabbed to death in his mansion at Old Fort Bay on Tuesday. It is reported that he was stabbed seven times about the body. Police say when found lying on the floor of the dining room at 8 a.m. Tuesday, Dr. Vasily appeared to have been dead for more than seven hours. The foot doctor had three practices in Sydney, Australia and started an orthopedic brand of footwear, now popular and available in the Bahamas, the U.S. and 23 other countries. He has reportedly treated more than 50,000 people. Since his death, Australian media have also profiled the doctor and his family. Angela Cox of Seven Network Australia is in the capital covering the story. When the story broke yesterday, this covered all of our national breakfast television shows. This was big breaking news. Um, not that he's a celebrity in Australia, but certainly a prominent podiatrist, certainly in Sydney, where uh, obviously a lot of Australians live. The fact that he'd had three clinics there, he was well known. But I think Australians are just really intrigued by this guy. He is living in this beautiful island paradise. He seems to have everything that money could buy. He has two homes, what seems to be a lovely family, wife and two adult children, and then to be killed like this in this fashion then we got the developments about his wife potentially being in custody and under arrest I think there's just a lot of intrigue about what happened. The multimillionaire has donated to charities abroad and here at home including junior regattas and other Bahamian organizations. I am Vaughn Albury, ZNS Network News. The Kervin Neely abetment to murder trial is winding down in the Supreme Court. 36-year-old Neely is accused of aiding and abetting in the murder of 17-year-old Enrico Major, the son of convicted drug lord Dwight Major and his wife Keva Major. Neely has pleaded not guilty to the charge. During today's proceedings, PMH pathologist Dr. Karen Sands was on hand to give evidence. A police detective also testified earlier that he visited the RAND lab at PMH and spoke to Dr. Sands who pointed out the body of a lifeless male with suspected stab wounds to the head and back. The victim's best friend also testified earlier that he saw a man he knew as Peter swing at the deceased who then later died from his injuries. Attorney Glendon Roll is defending Neely. Aaron Johnson is appearing on behalf of the Crown. Justice Bernard Turner is providing, presiding pardon me, over the case. An outpouring of love for six-year-old Talia Martin. Carlton Francis Primary School held an assembly in honor, of me in honor of the memory of the second grade student found dead in a cesspit near her home on Friday night. Charles Fisher was at the emotional service. This is the entrance at the school's gate. The main campus, billboards flanked with pictures of the six-year-old Talia Martin clearly displayed. She is memorized even in pins. Her grade two classroom desk draped in pink. Hearts and flowers, a signal of a classmate's outpouring of love. Students display their talents in songs and poems, releasing balloons in her memory. A very emotional service for a youngster who seemed to have touched so many lives in a short time on earth. Her parents were presented with gifts and also released balloons. Her grandmother was also present at Carlton Francis Primary. Homeroom teacher Mistress Dion Carey, who was too emotional to sit through the entire service, described Talia this way. Wonderful, very charismatic. She was an intelligent, exceptional student. Loving is the most <sighs> affectionate word I could call her because every morning, Talia, like the principal described her, she came affectionate every day. She always came with open arms, with love, pure love in her heart. Principal Rosella Darling and Bristol was also emotional, having also taught Talia's mom. Kylia was that kind of student. Anybody that met her would have known that she was a very loving child. Whenever you see her, her arms were always open. 
and ready to give you a hug. How are the students dealing with this type of law? Well, her classmates, who she would have been with every day, you know, they, they are distraught. You know, especially, you know, how she was found. That was tragic. And so for all of us, it was a difficult time. Speaking on behalf of the family, her aunt, Anishka Ramsey. She was really a, an awesome child. Very bubbly, talkative. Yeah, very smart child. Such a tragic event. How is the family dealing with it? Um, you know, we have God on our side. And he's our pillar strength. You know, when Jesus is in the vessel, we smile at the same. This morning coming here and seeing the emotions and the love pouring from the kids and the faculty must have helped you a bit. Oh yes, the school was awesome. The children were wonderful. We didn't even we didn't even expect this. You know, when they said they were having a, um, a memorial for her, it's awesome. It's just sitting here watching the children perform. It's really it really helped. A cake bearing Talia's image, a fitting tribute as well. For the ZNS News Network, I'm Charles Fisher. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it.